Hey, what's going on everybody? For I driver, beautiful sunny weather. I'm loving every moment of this spring season. Now, moment has arrived. I finally got my tuning software. I was thinking between Honda Data or K-Tuner. Those two are great softwares for the Honda Civic Acura Integra platform. Been searching aimlessly for a couple of months now between those two software tuners. Now I decided after checking out the Integra forums and also shout out to Reddit Acura, the subreddit, I decided to get the K-Tuner. That's the software that I'm gonna add in my 2023 Acura Integra A-Spec 6-Speed Manual. I'm so excited. I've never tuned a car in my entire life. So this is gonna be the first time ever that I'm gonna tune a car, so that's gonna be fun. So I didn't get my K-Tuner from them. I actually got it from Farable.net. So Farable.net, Farable is a tuning company that tunes, oh sh the beat, god damn it. Anyways, sorry about that. A bee was incoming and was trying to attack me. But anyways, I got this through Farable.net, which is a tuner company that tunes softwares like these, like K-Tuner and Hondata, and they add their own stage mappings as well to tune the ECU of your car. And that was highly recommended on Reddit and through Integra Forms as well. So I got it through Farable.net. Thank you very much. So this is the tuner software, K-Tuner Flash version 2 but it has a stage 1.5 race mode. Shout out to Farable for installing their race mode in there as well. So it's gonna be exciting. I've never, never, ever tuned a car before in my life. Again, it's gonna be really, really fun. I can't wait. I'm gonna follow the instructions that Farable sent me and I'm gonna search some YouTube videos to see how to install this tune in my car. So stay tuned for that one. Can't wait, let's do it. All right, folks, so I'm inside. I have the K-Tuner software right here, beautiful. I have it uploaded right here on this, my laptop. And I have the OBO2 cable connected in. Now I have to connect this here. Let's see if it all goes through. Let me remove this screen real quick. All right, so that is in, that is in. Now to turn the car on, just press it twice. I'm not doing the ignition or anything else. I'm just putting the electrical system on. No music, no nothing, because personally, I just want to focus on putting this tune on. Because it says it appears that it does have been locked. So I have the instructions right here. Farable will send you an email with the instructions. So open k on your laptop. Click file and select open to with the calibration that you downloaded. So they're sending you a file. They send you a file where that's where the stage 1.5 their tune is. So I downloaded it already. So I have to open it now on KTuner. Go to my file right here. The hell man. Okay, open tune. This thing is authenticating. Man, you know what? I'm gonna go to your YouTube tutorial. This is terrible. This is terrible. I can't waste you guys' time. So, <sighs> you know, special thanks to Edge Auto Sports. Check out their YouTube channel, specifically this tutorial on how to install a K tuner. I'm gonna post the link up. This one's helping me a lot because I missed a crucial step, which is the connection, which is uploading it right now. And you can see that it's uploading the file. So, hey, this is nice. It's going. I am very excited. It's gonna go. I can't wait for everything to upload it with this map and see with the Han data. Unfortunately, it doesn't have. See, it doesn't have the screen at all. It won't show you the gauges and everything else like that. So it's pretty. That's one of the big reasons why I chose this one instead. Is because of a viewing of everything that I need to know about this car. Han data doesn't have that. You have it on your laptop, but it won't have that live. And K Tuner is the way to do with Farable.net, through Farable.net. Shout out to them. All right, now last step is to upload. It's recommended for this vehicle. No, don't worry, it's good. All right. So flash now or flash directly or enter a description to choose the slot tuner for this. So this one is stage 1.5 in Farable. One five fair stage one point five fairable. Guess that's the way. I'll do that right now. 
it's probably gonna take a while that's why it said it needs the battery unit also while this is uploading i actually got a mount special thanks to archive mounts i ordered this one i'm gonna mount this using that on the top of the car so i'm gonna set that up soon to have the whole digital layout while i'm driving oh man it's gonna be fun i can't wait to feel the boost if it'll make a difference but people are saying it makes a difference with the whole output adding this tuner software oh my baby's getting tuned up all right it's almost done it's done now let's see where it is i think it's under here layout no not layout my fault flash there it is there it is stage 1.5 sorry if you you know it feels so but there it is stage 1.5 right there it also said i have some other mappings as well so i'm gonna do that immediately with this one so special thanks to ferrable i'm gonna use that first and i'm gonna see if there's any other ones right there new tune with this ah they already put me down as the integra yes good job okay so there's the starters with everything else that ktuner has as well um let's see let's see which one i'm going to choose i'm going to do 21 why because they said it's also safe to use 21 as well i could always fool around with this so you know what i'm going to do target one and then i'll do target two next okay so i'm going to do that and what i'm going to do is i'm going to upload that see what this is showing warning a battery charger all that type of stuff cool all right so i'm going to flash this one stage two k tuner stage two 21 psi because that's pretty much what it was all right so that'll be right there i'm going to flash it directly in here so i'll have it on the fly so I don't have to use my laptop in order to do that. Special thanks to Edge Auto Sport for that recommendation to flash all of this to here. Uh, so definitely follow this tutorial to install this one. The email does help too, but if you're more of a visual learner, definitely go with Edge Auto Sports K-Tuner installation. Again, I'm going to post a link up for y'all. Okay, so now it's prompting now after I told it to do the ferrable i selected the ferrable 1.5 stage tune r tune so it's erasing what it currently has which is the stock ah shit. emission system a problem all this oh shit. all righty well it's saying this is normal so you know again it's my first time doing all this one okay now it's flashing i right, cool it's flashing it's doing all that stuff which is good <laughs> it's going through everything. He'll start problem assist. <laughs> oh man, this is funny. Yeah. It is successful. Let's do it. Key vehicle off. We'll do that. Key vehicle back on. Alrighty. Moment of the truth. Ooh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. The RPMs is a little higher. Okay. Damn. Cause usually it's at the low 1100s and everything else. Okay. Hey, this ain't bad. <laughs> this ain't bad at all. But again, you know, I'm gonna take it easy. So I'm doing the Ferrable race tune. They're 1.5. Okay. Hey, listen. I am very excited. But you know, I think I'm gonna let me change the layouts real quick. It'll make it look better. Alright, so I have one problem actually. It's not with this, it's with the mount. One part is missing actually. The actual thing that'll hook it. It's not there. It didn't come with the package, so I'm kind of annoyed. Now I have to hold it like this. I'm gonna contact this company. Hopefully they'll send me a better mount for free. They'll get this one because I can't hook up for anything else. That's some bullshit. But in case, I'm gonna leave my aunt and uncle's house right now. I'm gonna fill up some fuel, head back to my place to do some spring cleaning. So 
let's test it out right now. I'm gonna drive it. on this road okay hey I feel somewhat of a difference hey the rev hand is not there anymore that's cool I do feel a difference I do feel it it's a little more peppy but again I have to do the full data swing with this one Ooh. <laughs> Hey, wait, hold on. Fifth gear, let's go. So the installation isn't bad at all. Oh, such a beautiful day to do it. So the installation isn't bad at all. I'll post up the tutorial that I used on YouTube. And also Farable.net sent a good one too. Hey, nice. I can tell you this, it's gotten more, it's smoother and I felt the turbos too. Hey, wait a minute, wait a minute, <laughs> wait a minute, hey, I didn't even hit fifth gear, holy God. Damn, all right. Oh, I, I definitely need Turbo's going out. I definitely need to fix that stand, man. They gave me a defective one. They gave me a defective one, man. That's some bullshit. But it is what it is. Alright, you come out and then you slow down. What the hell's wrong with you? risky but it was smooth with it Woo, it was smooth with it all right sorry for being crazy with the pedal that's what happens when drivers piss me off even downshifting is smoother now man I feel a difference now I definitely feel a noticeable difference it is a smoother ride yo it's a smoother ride very nice all right now time to fill up this gas let's go all right, we're at a red light, so I'm going to explain to y'all what I'm going to do with the Ferrable Tune, with the whole tuner software. I'm going to explore more of this. I'm going to see the tunes that I'm going to set up, but mostly I'm going to do the Ferrable 1.5 racing tune that is provided in this K-Tuner from Ferrable.net. I'm also going to test the Stage 2 level as well. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to collect the data. I'm going to try it in all three modes in this Integra. Let's see what Nice. Hey, already it's kind of peppy. <laughs> it's really peppy so far. I like it. I like it a lot. Oh, also update. My dumbass, I found the missing part. It was in between the seats. My dumbass just decided to not check it around, but I found it finally. So this mount is going to be mounted up once I head back to my place. So anyway, regardless. For the upcoming months, you guys are going to see some data. I'm going to collect some data to see, you know, how it is with the miles per gallon, the fuel, the mileage, everything using this tuner with Ferrable 1.5. So it's going to be a good time. I just can't wait to drive it more often now with it to see the noticeable differences. I'm already having the noticeable differences. It's smoother. Um, the shifting is smoother. I feel a little bit more peppiness with the acceleration. I might do the 0 to 60 one too with using the tunes as well. Ugh, it's probably a biker on the road. I thought I saw a stupid biker on the road. I think that's probably the hold up. But anyways, I'm going to test 0 to 60. I'm going to do more pulls with it, like 40 to 70, comparing with the stock one. So I'm going to do both comparisons. 
and you guys are gonna see that you know in the upcoming months but in the meantime I can't wait to drive this in my commute it's gonna be really really exciting it's gonna be a lot of fun but I'm just happy that I tuned my car for the first time ever and I think everyone should too the ones that are involved in car enthusiasts the ones that I really enjoy driving cars everyone recommends it I definitely recommend it special thanks to K tuner through Farable. I got it through Farable.net. So thank you to you guys. Get the mount. I'm gonna hook it up. Honda, you can get it as well, but I didn't get Honda. As I stated before, a lot of people said get the K tuner. That'll do well with the new Integra. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. But in the meantime, I'm just gonna head back, head home, get some cleaning to do, and uh I can't wait to drive this car more often now with the tune. So let's see how it is. So you guys are gonna see more of it. So take care y'all.